everyone, Amy Love here. I just wanted to come on and share with you an altered cigar box that I created this week. I was so happy to have some time to craft and I have been enjoying every minute of it. But I am in a group on Facebook that I will put the link to below where we were doing a swap for an altered wooden box. So I used uh, one of the cigar boxes that I had laying around and you can see the wood through the crackle. So I just put on top of the wood base, I meant to have all my stuff out, and of course I don't. Let me get my stuff out. Sorry about that. I uh, put on a coat of this over the box right on top of the wood. And then when it dried, I put on uh, I brushed on a layer of this chalk paint and then as it dries that's the crackle that you get. Then I used matte Mod Podge to decoupage on uh, roses from a napkin and then I sealed the whole box with that matte Mod Podge so that none of this chalk paint would uh, peel off, flake off. And then I added, I have been enjoying this so much since it was gifted to me. And where is it? I know I have it because I've been using the heck out of it. This diamond dust. Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. So while um, the Mod Podge was still wet, I sprinkled on <laughs> the beautiful diamond dust onto the flowers. It's just so pretty. Now I actually had planned on putting a different um, latch and feet and metal corners, but I only had gold hinges. I only had gold hinges and like I get impatient and I don't want to wait until I can get a different color. I want to work with what I have now. I want to make it. I want to make it now. So I did have a gold uh, latch that matched the hinges so that's what I did that's why I didn't put on the metal feet or the metal corners because they just wouldn't match but I did cover the bottom with felt and then I added uh, these flat back pearls for the feet which they just make really great feet on stuff and then I added the uh, rose and pearl trim here and here and then some flat back pearls around the edges uh, the flat back pearls and these feet I got from Craft Supplies for You. This trim comes from Hobby Lobby. Uh, the napkins, you can get uh, napkins from uh, Angel Dream Crafts has an Etsy. Kim has an Etsy. You can get nap beautiful napkins there. Uh, both of these uh, came from Hobby Lobby. I don't know where to get this. My friend sent it to me and I love her for it. <clears throat> okay, so on the inside, I of course lined it with fabric because you know how I am and I have to. I have to line the boxes with fabric. It's a thing. I don't know. And then I put this beautiful lace around the edges and then I decorated the top. It says, do what you love and love what you do. I just love that sentiment and uh, this is lemon craft paper layered up, a paper doily. And I don't actually remember what paper pad this came from. It was one of the um, ones on sale at Michael's. I'm not, but I'm not sure. And then I did go ahead and paint the inside the same chalk paint that I did the outside with. So there's my little box. I hope you like it. Please uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I'll be happy to answer any questions on how I created it. And please leave me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching, everybody.